Oh shit, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing out there? This is Intergalactic Interviews, and this is episode 133! 133! God damn, folks. And as, as you can tell by the cascading woos that just occurred, clearly this is a full house, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Did you have a good week? I think we had a fantastic week. Did you enjoy the Fuck Steve McGowan campaign that has been just rocking right now? Uh, I spoke with Steve on the weekend, and he told me he really... He, he, yeah, he's crushed. <laughs> he's, he's never going to bounce back, folks. And uh, it's all thanks to you. You guys did a good job out there. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You ruined a man's life. Okay. It was an entertaining clip, yeah. for sure. Uh, no, no, he seriously he loved it, though. Obviously, you guys see his reaction online. And if you haven't seen the Fuck Steve McGowan video yet, we definitely encourage you to do so. It's pretty uh, unique <laughs> in that uh, we love him. But, uh, yeah, don't cancel on us, you motherfucker. We love you. Uh, that being said, Seymour's giving me shit because uh, every time we start the show, I, like, fix my posture, apparently. Because, like, yeah, I'm aware. Suddenly, the camera's on. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, I got to sit up. A little bit, but uh, apparently that ruins his frame. So I'll slouch down. You can talk to my RMT later, and he'll uh, he'll sort you out. How about that? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is uh, a fantastic time because finally, I don't know how we did this, but we managed to put uh, just all of our scheduling prowess together, and we managed to get the best, the best situation to happen tonight. You're probably wondering at this point. There's a big buildup. What is what is exactly our guest? Got a hammer time drum roll going here. I don't even know if that picked up. Probably. Who knows? Who I'm going to say it did. Let's just say it did. Uh, There's a drum roll here going right now. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, our guests, uh, we have we have select members. That's how you say this. Hand-picked. Word. Hand-picked, select curated members of The Radical, which is an improv group here based in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, son. And uh, I actually wanted to let you all know that I've seen this group perform uh, several times now. They're fantastic. They're super funny. I really appreciate the whole layout of their show. Very spectacular. Top to bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show, Greg and Emily and Amanda. Oh, shit. Applauding for each other. It's just like... You two are my favorites, <laughs> except for the other six, four. Uh, but there's so many of you, and our, our space can only accommodate so many. Yeah, um, we, we put up hands in terms of who each person we're on the. That's right. Uh, oh, good call. Oh, okay. We're on the bird's Greg, eye. I think Greg might be obvious. <laughs> yeah, but I'm Greg. Greg. Hi, <laughs> Emily. Emily. Amanda. Hurrah! I like this. Good job, everyone. But we also have uh, uh, Theo, Taizo, Beth, and Abdullah in the group. Mm. Who, are but, all, who are all now deceased because they lost the Hunger Games in order to get oh, onto yeah. those. Yeah, there yeah. were a couple elbows thrown out. The Australian one. Oh, what? She had one of those Road Warrior, like, boomerangs with the knife. Oh, please. Jeez. That's like the third boomerang <laughs> reference I've heard today. I'm oh, done. Shit. <laughs> Actually, I My know, work here is done. <laughs> I know on good authority that... Uh, Actually, Amanda, you don't really like when people imitate your accent. I hate it. Is that a fact? No, that is a fact. That is an absolute fact. I know you hate it. I think I think when people do that, they probably really, really tear at your core, don't they? Your accent, though. I can actually, I can actually feel something in my chest right now at you just yeah, bringing just, it up. Just a little trigger, right? Yeah. I, trigger. Can, I can assure yeah. you that was my one freebie for the night. That's, oh, I see. Oh. Okay. That you'll probably still hit me later. <laughs> Just walk away and we'll let you. Oh, see? There you go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, one thing uh, if you've never experienced an improv show, it's pretty fantastic. Uh, what are you doing? Get some culture in your goddamn life, is what I would try to tell you. Um, Absolutely. But it's pretty fun. So, essentially, if I can say from a spectator point of view, uh, not always, but in this case with the radical, there's a host. Mm-hmm. Often portrayed by Mr. Greg. Mm-hmm. Milne. That's correct. How do you pronounce your last name exactly? Milne. Milne. Yeah. With the e, the e is silent. The e is essentially silent. And for a five-letter name, it gets mispronounced a lot. lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I get Mile, Milne, uh, Millen. The best though, uh, Seattle Airport. I somebody lost my baggage. And I'm sitting there at the carousel, and over the loudspeaker, Melani. Yeah, there you go. Melani, and I'm like, and I'm like, for minutes, I'm sitting there waiting for my bag, and all of a sudden, like, I kind of piece everything together, and like, <laughs> I don't have a bag, and that's for me. Like, yeah, oh. exactly. Yeah, that, that I was a long answer. I was gonna go with Melani, by the way. That was, I was, I was like, <laughs> Mr. Melani, just use that. Uh, but. Uh, this particular show is often hosted by Greg. Mm-hmm. Um, Greg is uh, the moderator, so to speak, of the games. Um, Emily and Amanda are often participating in said games. And 
uh, is that how you call them? Is that what you call them? Games? Uh, for the short form, yeah. Yeah. What would you? What's like the long thespian? Your your traditional <laughs> format uh, for a lot of shows that you'll see. Yeah. Uh, first half will be what we call short form, which is a lot of games, uh, short scenes, things like that. And then a later half you'll do uh, what's called long form, which can be like a full story or just longer open scenes that kind of feed into each other. I see. Okay. And yeah. more complicated formats. Yeah. So the games are usually like two to five minutes in and out. They go real, real quick, real punchy, like as much energy as possible. Right. <laughs> Hopefully. And um, <laughs> the longer forms usually are, depending on what, what your format is, like 10 to 20 to 30, you can rack it up to a mono scene, which can run up to an hour, like just one yeah. straight story. So there's a lot of variety within wow. it as well. Yeah. Mm, that's good. So how long has the group been performing together? How many members total? There's seven? Seven right now. Seven. Yeah. How many... Uh, how long has the, like, is there a core to the group or is it like everyone kind of joined at the same time? Well, it's a little tricky. Okay. Uh, <laughs> officially. We like tricky, so that's okay. Go ahead. Officially it was about two years ago. It was July of 2015. Okay. Um, it's very specific. It was, yeah. Be specific. Uh, Be yeah. specific. That's, it, specificity <laughs> is the key of comedy. Um, it started, yeah, July 2015. Um, myself and a few others were uh, in Second Story Theater in Poco. Right. For Coquitlam. And uh, they were wrapping up for the summer. So we're well, you know, we want to get some more stage time, work together. And, sure, yeah. Uh, a few of us were now living in Vancouver and commuting back to Port Coquitlam to, to do the shows. So uh, we're like, all right, well, let's find a stage and, you know, do a couple shows, see what happens. Yeah. And, Test the waters. Uh, so see how it goes. Uh, initially, with Theo in the group uh, was essentially our original other member. Uh, Theo, who uh, actually people uh, who are longtime <laughs> listeners of this show may actually not <laughs> recognize his name as Theo, but uh, may actually recognize him as Ravenous Randy Myers. Uh, the, the, the ladies of the group actually just went to go see him live for the first we time. Did. We really? Went for the first yeah. time. Oh, you've never seen him wrestle no. before? We've, I've never seen any wrestling before. <laughs> oh, wow. It was such an experience. I oh, was man. like, I got to the bar after to order a drink, and I was like, hi, I just, I'm so, I was so emotional. Yeah. Drained, it's amazing. Drained. I had a lot of gin after that show. I, I often challenge people to go to watch local wrestling, and I say, try and have a drink and have a bad time. Just try. Just, just try and have a bad time. It's I the best time. I kept texting him like after he played because I was so confused about what was going on. Like, played. <laughs> Chris Martin off, off screen just now is just like, played? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm like played. I didn't know what was going on. And I'm like, is this mid stage? I don't understand. He's like, yep, it's all stage. I'm like, I. But so luckily, his mom was sitting with us, and she was kind of coaching us. Where she's like, "No, no, we're okay. This is part of it. Oh, we might have to leave. Oh, oh no, we're okay. They're yeah, you're safe now. Other. You can like, sit back down. We can sit back down." We had like a spirit guide to yeah. guide us through this. It was amazing. That's excellent. That's also recommended. You don't want to go just blind and no. do it or whatever. Anyway, sorry. But, sorry. No, no, no. Yeah. So Theo, who's amazing as yes. established, yes. Um, <laughs> we, we somebody had uh, uh, recommended we do like a duo. Uh, but then I played uh, a show with uh, my friend Jameson, uh, who I'd known for about a decade, mm -hmm. um, and I had a lot of fun with that. And I was like, well, I'd like to, you know, do more shows with her. So sure. That, and it was just sort of like piece by piece adding adding people in. Um, and we did a couple shows out at uh, Displays Hashery in, right. in Kitsilano uh, over nice the venue. summer. Yeah. yeah, it was a fun place. I actually host uh, trivia there sometimes. Oh, you do, or, do you? Sometimes, often, <laughs> weekly. <laughs> weekly. Uh, what what uh, what kind of trivia? This is general trivia. General yeah. trivia? Okay. I would do the on-theme night. But, okay. uh, and actually, uh, uh, Emily and Amanda actually were there for that particular incarnation. Emily did a guest spot. Sure uh, and I was actually about to ask the both of them to come out and join uh, and then I had to put everything on hiatus because I had to get a job and get married and get my life together. Hey, know <laughs> all about that, my friend. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So meeting you at the love of your life, it's so hot. Oh. Yeah, it's a tough gig. It was like, oh man, I guess I should be responsible now. And yeah. uh, Lauren I, is the most amazing. Just want to put that out there. Yeah, she, she absolutely is. is. Hey, yeah. You're is. brilliant. Yeah. I told her I'd, I told her I'd screenshot the thumbs up. So there yeah. you go. There. Uh, but. Um, and I, I put sort of everything artistically aside for a few months and really sure. get my stuff together. Um, and I went back to Second Story and did a season there. And when I came out of that, I really rediscovered my love for uh, for improv. And I was like, I want to do this. I want to you know get the band back together. Right, yeah. And uh, <laughs> so I, I reached out to everybody who was there originally. And uh, some of them had gone off. Ooh, some of them have gone uh, off and uh, done their own thing. Did their own thing. And uh, it was cool. So... Uh, 
Yo. <laughs> I was off for like nine months. They owed me uh, nothing in that respect. <laughs> uh, and they're awesome. And they've come and played with us uh, yeah. uh, in their group. They, t- they formed uh, Inside Shoes. Uh, okay, and so our, yeah. our first improv Voltron show was actually with them. I saw portions of their show. I didn't. I didn't see the whole thing. I think, but uh, possibly, possibly. I <laughs> Sorry. Too oh long. yeah, no, because they, they were at the Seven Dying Lines. That's show. right. Yeah, yeah. I did yes, see that's right. Because the name uh, sounded familiar. That's I'm just gonna, th- there we go. I think that's improv all... group names, by the way, are my favorite <laughs> things in the world. There are some exceptional ones. How sure. did the radical come about? I, it yeah. popped into my head, and I was like, threw it out of the group, and they're like, yeah, well, that sounds. There was no other suggestions. Everybody just. <laughs> oh, I just thought I was asked to join the radical. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I, I was, was like, "That's the name, cool." Cool. I'm, Don't. Yeah. Well, and that, but when we we're the previous oh, in 2015, wow. when it was coming around, it was yeah. We're second generation. I was like, right. yeah. second gen. Second yeah. gen. Second yeah. gen. We're, we're getting this second, out of order, yeah. I think. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I came up with the name, and it was like, "This is the only thing that's kind of popped into my head." What do yeah. you guys think? And everybody was like, "Yeah, no, I like it. Cool, done." No. I like it. It. it uh, <laughs> I definitely never forgot it the first time I heard it, so it's good. I like that's it. That's good. It's right, good. Um, I I was wondering though, um, just based on, you know, group involvement, I do notice that with the live shows, there's a lot of moving pieces with with who is who is present and who are not. Is um, is the affiliation to the group, um, say to an outsider like myself, <laughs> is the affiliation like an ironclad? social contract in that like that you can only be with this improv group like is it a gang is no. what I'm, I'm getting down we, is this a we gang? are a gang for yeah. sure i like know street gang. is <laughs> no. this a radical street like gang trump's wearing loyalty yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. no 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 a lot of us play a lot i think most of us come now at this point of this group we all come kind of from different improv backgrounds and performance backgrounds and some of us are in other groups some of us perform with other in other what's the word I'm looking for? Like we don't do improv strictly, we perform in other types of performance. Right. Film theater. And yeah, um, so I think it really is kind of an accumulation of a bunch of really cool people. And of course, I mean, we have rehearsals and there's kind of an, obli- not an obligation, but you should want to be playing mm-hmm. with your group. Mm-hmm. So we do try to spend some time together and work on stuff, but it's not like, oh God, Jamie didn't show up today. Like <laughs> you're out of here. We're not, we're not as hardcore as Pe- that. People <laughs> have lives and we don't pay well so <laughs> <laughs> things come up and yeah uh, but uh, I like that every, everybody who we have like our core seven that we've yeah we mentioned there and uh, we like having guests uh, come out to that was sort of one thing that I always really wanted to have as a part of things it helps keep things fresh and uh, there's so many people that we uh, like to work with and, mm-hmm. and would love the chance to work with so it, I like that um, let me ask another question this might start getting a little. Ooh. Ooh. I start, are you going to get personal? I do. Ooh. I do. I like, we used to have this uh, segment on the show called Too Offensive. And uh, we, we haven't done it in like 50, 60 it's episodes. Not it's not a good. <laughs> like basically, basically, I would try to find the most offensive question to ask. And, oh. and you would have the option of answering it. Or you could do the jingle of too offensive. It sounds like an OK Cupid profile thing. It's a weird thing. I don't thing, know. Right? It kind of sounds fun. It's He's kind of like an agreement. It's kind of like a captcha. This is before Seymour was involved with the oh, show. I've seen it. But he was definitely, yeah, you look he's, really he said he's seen it. stoked about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris Martin. Yeah. What is your question? Sorry, I'm so excited. Oh, that's okay. Um, I just, like, here's the thing in entertainment, yes. mm-hmm. there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of jockeying for position and uh, backbiting and, <laughs> and backstabbing and, and, and just political maneuvering in order to attain the next level or perceived level, so to speak. That stuff is like rampant in all different facets of entertainment. Mm-hmm. So under this giant entertainment umbrella that we're, we're discussing, it's pretty, pretty uh, intriguing to me if in such a lighthearted, wonderful way to spend your time with improv, <laughs> If that is a facet of the community, is there, is there a component of the community that feels like the the, the description I was just giving, where there's like a an, an active malevolent presence that is like you know you really like saying that word, don't you? Malevolent. Yes, malevolent. It is fun to say. Yeah, Male- uh, a restrictive, <laughs> engaging time. Like thanksthezoris.com. Yes, it. yeah. I. But is there something like that that you guys deal with? If if you take a look at what's been going on in the 
comedy scene in Vancouver is in the last two years it's really blown up there's a lot Absolutely. of opportunities for Absolutely. classes yeah. there's a lot of opportunities for performance and there's a lot of people who are really really wanting to do it and there's a lot of talent here right so there is a little bit of competition that has come up out of that because you always want more stage time because that's ultimately how you grow and get better and get seen and definitely bomb or soar um, and I do feel like that is becoming a little more integrated than maybe five years ago granted I just started about two years ago so <laughs> I wouldn't know but I do see that it is present but mm -hmm. improvisers I find are also really open people and really generally speaking very lovely and loving and want to support each other right. so it's like this weird like oh that's really great but also i want to be doing every show and that person's doing every show so it's kind of like this internal yeah. always external yeah. Yeah. struggle at least that's from what i can see is is yeah. what is what emily's saying does that resonate with the, with the two of you amanda and greg yeah and i agree with like the whole like when i because uh, i moved uh, almost three years ago from Sydney and when I moved here everything was like blowing up when I came mm -hmm. over and uh, when that happened I was doing everything like Emily mm -hmm. talked about like you just get so involved and you're going to shows like seven nights a week and you're tiring yourself out yeah. and I was studying at all the schools and then like for me I just like tired myself mm -hmm. out and so like I took yeah. a break for like three or four months and you would go to a show and someone would be like oh I haven't seen you forever mm -hmm. and you'd be like it's been like three months <laughs> yeah. dude like <laughs> We're cool. Now we've moved on. We're good. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that kind of feeling, yeah. But it, it's also, like, created a really amazing opportunity for, like, other stuff that's going on. Like, um, I'm guest cast at Instant Theatre, which is one of the uh, improv companies in town. And mm -hmm. um, I love puppetry. I have a background in puppetry. Hadn't picked up a puppet for about four years. Wow. And we have just started in the last couple of months, like, a late night puppetry dirty improv show. Really? And which it's is like, so much fun. And it's like, <laughs> it's like a dream come true in, like, this weird way. Like, two mm -hmm. of the things I love, I get to do together. So, like, puppets, not, like, marionettes? Like, no, like, like Actual puppets, yeah. And we have like uh, puppets that I mean designed for the show as well. So like we have one called um, Bushy and it's like a bush. It is a bush. With like sunflowers for <laughs> Sorry, their boobs. Sorry, like cubic hair. Oh. No, no, a bush No, bush. like an actual bush, like this bush. Oh. Like, hey, oh, like the oh, foliage. Oh, yeah. Foliage, oh, sure. The foliage in the room. Sorry. Sorry, just please know that they both yeah. like, no, tree. Yeah. Yes. Look, it's a tree. Sorry. Foliage. Pu pubic region. <laughs> Nope, nope, totally wrong. But that's where I got you because you haven't seen her, and that's you're like, right. "Cool, I am, yeah." I am intrigued, though. Yeah, both ways. Mm -hmm. I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, with with the competitive aspect, so many creative things are happening, yeah, totally. and so many new forms, and so many new shows are getting put up, which is kind of a cool thing that's kind of come out of this little bit of drivenness that's kind of come up. Mm. Yeah. That's pretty interesting, and and people are finding, I think, especially the last couple months, I've found. Uh, are really reaching out and finding new venues to perform mm -hmm. at, and uh, because it it was really limited for a while. It's yeah, kind of totally. like musical chairs out there, a little yeah. bit, yeah. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. And so, so there's a trade-off where you know everybody's putting a lot of creative effort forward, <clears> but <throat> there is the competition in that any given night there's at least three or four shows mm -hmm. happening. That's true. Uh, so uh, booking people can be problematic. Keeping an audience can be mm -hmm. problematic. You know, no matter how much they like your show. They could want to check out a different show yeah. next week, and I mean, relatively speaking, in podcast, that's like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like you have like your core audience, I guess, and then you have this floating audience that mm -hmm. comes and sees you floating. every week. Float house. Oh, that, that sounds like a segue. <laughs> that sounds like a perfect segue. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Just wanted to give you guys uh, an amazing opportunity to let you know about Floathouse. Floathouse.ca is where you want to go and check out isolation tanks. What's an isolation tank? It's simply a tool for you to unlock the mysteries of your mind or the universe. Or maybe it's just a quiet place for you to spend some time. I think I went into the tank the first time for like three and a half hours, but you don't have to do that. That's a major commitment. You could do 45 minutes. Hell, you could do 90 minutes and enjoy yourself and you can get 20% off your next float. How do you do that? Use our podcast promo code, II Podcast. What is that podcast promo code, C-Mart? And he's quiet and it's II Podcast. That's why I wanted to let you know. That's lowercase i, lowercase i, podcast. And that gets you 20% off your next float. Some of you at home are right 
Like, what the fuck is a float? A float is simply an isolation tank that allows you to deprive yourself of all senses and again, unlock the mysteries of the universe, not just your mind. This is an incredible experience and I actually, all jokes aside, can't recommend it enough. It's the best thing you could do in order to give yourself a tranquil relaxation. It's like a spa for your mind. It's the best time. It's amazing. And you can get 20% off your next float by using our podcast promo code IIPodcast. Check out floathouse.ca. I float, we float, you should float. Check it out. We love it, and we'll see you there soon. Float house. <laughs> and we're back. Okay. But <laughs> in, in amongst all that, I mean, any entertainment or any field really is going to have a bit of politics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but improv overall in the, in the scheme of things is a lot more open. Um, I know when I was first, first starting, like, you know, telling people that I had been watching for a while. Yeah, I started taking a couple classes. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to perform with you. And I'm like, great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, you have to go audition for this. I've had two classes. Yeah. I but see. thank you. <laughs> well, that's interesting because it does seem like the support is, like, an important part. Mm-hmm. But getting those, you know, uh, I guess what I'm saying is, like, when I look at the radical mm-hmm. and I see that here you are, you know, putting out two monthly shows, right? You have, the, you have these monthly shows you put out at the Heritage and yep. at Seven Dining Lounge. Yes. It was. We've rehearsed him before the show. That's you right. got it right, guys. You In got it Carta. right. Carta. Yeah. <laughs> Did a lot of research. The, uh, the, the idea, though, that you guys have these, this, uh, this, this plat- these platforms mm-hmm. to put out, you know, um, shows. And here you are, rather than, like, just, you know, um, keeping everything in house and not allowing anyone else to be involved you're mm. you're actively having other other groups come out and do these shows like that's very proactive like it's a very strong position to have in a culture that requires teamwork mm-hmm. in order to to push things through no that was that was really important to me and to us when putting the shows together mm-hmm. um, it started with the the improv Voltron show um, and which was originally just a one-off show. Um, it was our big comeback. Yeah. Uh, because it, at that, I guess we sort of finished off our, my story before. Uh, that's what we added in. Uh, I'm good at this, by the way. I, 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 I like, let's fill in the blanks on this one. And then, uh, yeah. um, I added in uh, Amanda and Emily like I always wanted to. Yeah. Uh, they were my first phone call after I had spoken to the original. Aww. Success. And, Excellent. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because well, we trained together, and I, I've, I've loved working with them, and I know they'd come a long way in that Aww. last year. And what did you so, say when you called? Were you very like? I got a tech, No, I got a I got a Facebook message. I, got a Facebook I had been message traveling, too. so I was in Berlin at the time, not really like oh, focused right. yeah. on being in Vancouver at all. I was not yeah. ready to wrap up my trip, and it was like, hey, when you do you want to maybe? And I was like, whoa, yeah, yeah. like I was down. stoked. I may or may not have forgotten she was out of town. Oh, it's all good, but I just remember being like. Oh, it's, yeah. yeah, cool. I was in Japan when he... Oh. When he <laughs> Look at the international. <laughs> what a... We're travelers. What a gangster world-class yeah. room we have right now. <laughs> Excellent. Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah. So no, it was lovely. Japan. It was a yeah. very simple but nice message of like, hey... Yeah. When I when I asked Seymart to join the show back in like episode seventy or seventy whatever the fuck, uh, <laughs> I called it like we've been friends for years, but I called him and I didn't even say hello. I just I called and I was like, I was like opportunity knocks and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> he, Your was like face is he was great like he was like was like it's like this. He's like, oh okay. <laughs> like that, it was just I so low key. I don't answer your fucking phone call. <laughs> you're the only person in my life that still refuses to not fucking call you. That's so I hope funny. they got caught on the mic because I hope I hope they heard everything you just said. But yeah, no, I'm I'm terribly mushy, so it was like, so I love you guys. Yeah, it'd be so yeah. awesome if you could do this. One hundred percent. That's uh, uh, and Beth, Beth Beth has gotten that 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 text mm-hmm. since as well. We added uh, Beth Rudkin just recently. Uh, for the time that she remains in Canada, that's we have, excellent. We have, we have we have you know called dibs. Just while we're calling, <laughs> talking about individual members, um, I know she's not a member of the Radical, but someone who stood out to us. Uh, I can't I can't place her name, <laughs> mm. but she was at the Seven Lounge first time I saw you guys. Uh, Roxy. Roxy. She's really <gasps> yeah. good. Ro- 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 Roxy God. is official Roxy. guest cast. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, she, yeah. She's yeah. got a very busy schedule right now, but mm-hmm. she is she's our, our uh, first call go-to. Yeah. She's uh, really funny. Absolutely she's love her. so yeah. great. She was in mine and Amanda's first improv class in Vancouver. Yeah, so we're well. really good friends with her. Yeah. She's oh, yeah? also yeah. just a genuine, amazing human being. Mm. She's so great, and she's so much fun to play with. 
Yeah. Every now and then in improv, you have these scenes that stick out in your mind, and you're like, oh, I remember that, even though there's so many scenes you do. Oh, endless. And we did one in a jam where we ended up in um, a, a graveyard, and we ended up <laughs> using corpses as skis to get out of the graveyard. <laughs> and it was so much fun, like wrapping <laughs> rib cages around our feet, uh, miming wrapping rib cages around our feet, and like trying to get out of the scary thing. I love it. it was just, it was, I think, driven by her as well. She's just such a rock star. She was doing a, a Chewbacca. Oh, oh I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. That, oh, look at Seymour's shoe. Can we get a oh. cam on a uh, Seymour? Uh, socks. Chewbacca <laughs> socks he was just wearing. Amazing. And nice note tie. about her Chewbacca sound is that she actually didn't know what it sounded like, what Chewbacca sounds like, yeah. and that was just pure wow. instinct, and it was so spot on. <laughs> it was on. so really yeah, good. Yeah, and she wow. asked about it after, and we're like, you killed. Like, yeah. everybody loved it. That was it. the most genuine part <laughs> yeah. of that. Whole Enough thing. that I brought it up months later, yeah. and I was like, that's Amazing. fucking good. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. But yeah, so <laughs> getting back to the the improv show, <laughs> improv Ultron show. Greg, I'm sorry. So I am running this interview. <laughs> I will take over anything. Now I'm Greg is driving. Dude, please go ahead. I'm, I'm over here just like talking about Chewbacca sounds. Like what the fuck? I have no. I'll just sit over here. Shut up. Let me know when you need. No, me. dude, you're doing good. <laughs> all right, please, all right. conti please continue. I I'm gonna divert you a little bit. That's all. I'm left and That's right. Love I'm it. That's good. So uh, when we did the first uh, improv Ultron show. Uh, Inside Shoes, like I said, they branched off from us. Right. Uh, and, uh, and they all came out from Second Story. So uh, wanted to be able to showcase them at the same time because they hadn't done a show yet either. Mm -hmm. And our inc incarnation of the group hadn't. So uh, we thought that was a good way to get both groups, show what they they do separately, and then uh, come together at the, the end. Yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, I love. I love that. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Excellent reference. It's good. It's a, not everybody gets it, unfortunately. Are you wearing a Decepticon I, shirt right now? I am wearing a Voltron shirt. Voltron right now. shirt? Yes. I have dressed for the job I By want. the way, I gave you the false answer in hopes to mask my own nerd. Like, like, first of all, who knows Decepticon doesn't know that? I'm like, yes. right, okay, obviously. But uh, clearly, you're a smart fella. You know what you're doing. You understand this is like a podcast. We talk about anything we want. Now we're talking about this. Absolutely. You're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I get, so uh, I, I actually, coach you through it the whole time. Sure, <laughs> I actually can only take partial credit for the Improv Voltron title. Um, it actually came from a band uh, that I'm a big fan of, uh, and I've gotten to know the, the members a little bit. Uh, they're called Running Red Lights uh, from out in Toronto. Uh, so check them out if you haven't already. Running Red Lights. <laughs> Running Red Lights. And they came out uh, <clears throat> three years ago on tour, and uh, they're playing a couple... You know, like local pubs and and whatnot, and they were touring with a group called Blue Sky Miners. Okay. And so they they did this thing where one group did a set, then the other group did a set, and the drummer who was in common at that point with both bands mm -hmm. uh, announced that they were going to come together and form Party Voltron and do a bunch <laughs> of of covers, and that stuck in my head forever. That's a cool because I, I was the cool only one idea. in the entire place I'm sure that got the Voltron reference. Yeah. No shit. Well, I love that. I love that. There's a uh, I've been like a. An appropriation of that with an improv that's pretty cool I like that that's like living on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's pretty cool it's pretty unique um, we were talking last week with Steve McGowan and mm -hmm. we were talking fuck, Steve McGowan. fuck <laughs> Steve McGowan fuck that guy love that guy but, <gasps> your you know. face <laughs> it's like I don't know him I don't want to say mean things that's now. okay you would be in a long list of people that's fine the, uh, like are we talking like triple digits like I need to know like a, an approximation uh 1500 of my last count that's what okay I hate Literally. him or say fuck you oh just just say fuck you but like it's, it's all out of love no for like, sure, yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. is it like I'm trying to get someone to fuck you is that what's happening just... um oh no, no there's a violent okay, head shake okay. of no no, all right. no it's like uh like a, he cancels like on you guys a bunch. Yeah, it's like a yeah. sexual dominance thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not. Okay, like that. whatever you guys get yeah. up to outside this room, yeah. like we don't need to talk about. I it. am and learning we, so uh, much, guys. Yeah. Thank you. I now know why we do improv Voltron. <laughs> yeah. Didn't know that before. That's so funny. Yeah, I'm asking these questions so that everyone in the group can know. Greg's like, well, this is why we do it. I'm like, oh wow. I didn't and Em and I are like, we're so grateful that you're asking these questions. Yes. Like, thank you for letting us play. <laughs> They've been scared to ask yeah. all this time. <laughs> like that's so that's so you know brave of you to look Greg in the eye when you ask him questions. You're like, we don't ask, we don't no, look him no. We just show up and like hope not to suck for <laughs> That's it. <a>, okay. <laughs> okay. Just while we're on this vein. 
how did how did hosting kind of become de facto your thing? How, because you, um, you're a good player. I've seen you up there killing it, but you're not like I a, appreciate that. You're not a um, every every game player. So like you're you're hosting, but you do that so well. You you have a nice uh, tone control with with the room. You you excellently MC. You move the crowd, son. It's excellent. Oh, thank well you. done. And uh, I, I feel like I, I know. should bust some dope rhymes now. Right uh, now, let's get this going. Boom. Let's go. Um, how it came about was uh, a I'm a control freak, but <laughs> outside bit. of that, I don't relate to that. A I don't. Bit. No. Uh, <laughs> it's it's just something that I have done for a long time. Overall, um, I actually, as well as Theo, started in wrestling. Uh, okay, <laughs> slow the fuck down. I know you can tell by no. my phenomenal physique. Full you, stop. You played wrestling too. I yeah, played wrestling yeah, too. Play. <laughs> nice callback. Excellent. Sorry, it was so good. Uh, full stop, Greg. Oh, what, okay, what, I'm sorry. let's walk this back. To what capacity were you wrestling? Uh, I was were in you ring. taking bumps. And like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Um, I, I was like <laughs> properly in ring for two or three years. What the fuck? Uh, and then. <laughs> Let me finish answering the question. What the Holy. Fuck? Uh, and then after that, I, I got, got gone back to school and stuff, so I didn't have time to really commit to the training, and I'm really picky about that. I didn't want to half-ass anything. Uh, but I, I stuck around as a, a manager and uh, general manager from time to time, announcer, play-by-play. Play. Play. Now I'm going to throw some wrestling terms in. Well, here I am burying Greg on his own interview. God damn. You're when supposed he's, to be I'm putting just, me over here, dude. I'm supposed That's... to be putting you over. What a shoot this has turned out to be. Just a shoot dragged down. Breaking buried. kayfabe everywhere. Oh, and fuck. Going to give you the gimmick. I can't believe this guy. I'm living the gimmick, obviously. <laughs> just like, fuck. That's hilarious. You are surprising me at every turn, my friend. That is, a, is fantastic. So, yeah. And, and, and improv, a lot of transferable skills. Cause from, of course. From bell to bell, as they say... I, you have to be on in character. You can't break, and no. you usually get as much as. All right, uh, if you could get A and B across, maybe C and go. <laughs> you know, shove you out the door. And side note: Who is your favorite uh, wrestling manager growing up? Um, There's a few of them. Don't worry. Well, I got my own <laughs> answer. Here. That's why. oh okay. This, this is about me, Emily. Okay, this no, guy. it's just my because whenever <laughs> these conversations come up, Amanda, myself. And Beth, we usually just kind of sit in the room. Well, now you have some experience. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I've heard recently you went to a local indie show, which puts you in the, like, the first of all, you're female and you went to a local wrestling show. That puts you in the, the smallest minority percentile and of I all time. And I wooed a lot. Like, I was, I, I was like, Theo, I'm going to woo. And I yeah. did. I was, like, so invested. Woo! Yeah. yeah. But, like, when these conversations come up, we're always like, yeah. And we all kind of go into our own brain and, like, make la, up our la, own. La, 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 we, we, do, we do have some wrestling. Wrestling fans in the group. Wrestling and like a couple and then, like like true and tried like nerdy types who were like, oh, did you see this? And we're like, mm-hmm, yeah, of course. I know what Pikachu's are. Like we really are. Like, <laughs> it really wow. is. It's 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 a funny split. So that's why we're both over here. Like ha ha ha. ha. Like yeah. Like, You're doing great. What they're, what they're saying yeah. is power through this section quickly. All right. <laughs> no no no. Please do. I was it? Uh, yeah. Please, please do. It. Please do. Let me yeah. just see if I can guess. Was it uh, Jimmy Hart? Uh, no, wasn't but, the mouth of the south, but awesome. Uh, no, it's and it's funny because <laughs> when you're met, it's it's actually like Bobby Heenan is what everybody says, right? Uh, and deservedly, he's a is genius. The brain, what can you say? Ex- exactly. Yeah. Dude, but so uh, for me, uh, I am I am a Paul Heyman guy. Oh, dude, I knew it. I should have. Uh, with- and and going back to Paulie dangerously, like. I, I've, been, I've been watching wrestling since I was three. Allow me, good so. sir, to talk to you about a couple of things that you need to understand. If this was ECCW, the number of chair shots that Greg could take would be no less than three, my good friend. Something like that? Yeah. yeah exactly. A little Polly Dangerously. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> One half of You've the entertained me, and really, at the end the of the day, isn't that mine. the most important part? <laughs> Dude, it's all about Craig. But uh, <laughs> so all, all through that time, uh, I was the talker, and uh, in in a, a number of different capacities, and uh, I, I did some radio for a while, mm-hmm. and then I ended up doing trivia, uh, mm-hmm. and I've done theater and film, and then you, stuff then you like did that this too, show. So. That and sounds then I've done like you do well for yourself. Sounds yeah, like yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> so ho- hosting is somewhere where I've always been really comfortable, and I really enjoy it. Um, so. I, I called dibs. I called dibs. <laughs> that makes sense. That's how it works, I guess. I don't know. I was supposed to be on the boards. See where it's like, fuck this. I'm supposed to be on the fucking mic. Is that how it works? Like a, he's got his eyes closed and his head shake. For those of you who know Chris Martin, that's his signature move. He's like, but 
Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> like, all the time. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yeah. I think what I'd like to do is to just for a moment, because we're talking about a real niche thing here. That okay. I just I had to explore that though. There's no way I could just be like we we can continue after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally I couldn't get it. I couldn't just be like, oh, you're in wrestling. Anyway, move on. Like <laughs> what? Like I had to keep. We got it. Don't worry. So <laughs> here, I, I guess to to cap it off though, oh. it's also become one of my bigger obstacles as a performer because that entire 10, 11 years. Uh, I was a heel. <laughs> I oh, was yeah. a bad Here guy. Go. Yeah. Uh, so I, I've had to fight really hard, uh, A, to just not be that character, because uh, I could turn that character on in a dime. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so exploring different characters, as well as not being negative and yelly. and Because if you watch like my first six months of, of improv, I was usually starting fights on stage. Because it was just what I knew and what came out. Uh, so it was kind of learning to be more positive. And so like the, the natural evolution of you performing and, and, and playing <laughs> yeah. improv is that you become a much more likable Greg. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like the way that this has been uh, turning out <laughs> thus far. You know? I'm glad. Yeah. It's pretty good. I think, uh, you know, apparently there's a real dark chapter to your life there that went, you know, for a little while. But that's okay. Chapters. But... Uh, Oh, the board. Okay. I'm a big fan. Okay. Well, we're happy now. That's that's the important thing. Everybody wait for my wife again. Yeah, yes. everyone. There you go. Love She's you, doing Lauren. Great. She's uh, the best. She's doing, uh, we love yeah. you. Okay. This is a closed taping just for her. I don't know if yeah. Know, yeah. Know, dude, we're just doing this for her. It's yeah. fine. Love it. Uh, I was wondering, though, if, oh. if we could just for a moment, um, because we're discussing favorites and stuff of wrestling, yeah. it just oh. occurred to me now that maybe we should just discuss actually something like that maybe we give a fuck about. Maybe oh. a little passion. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. for, the, for the rest okay. of the room. Yeah. Okay. For the rest of the room. Welcome you. back to the conversation, Welcome guys. Back. Yes, uh, guys. I'm invested now. Amanda Episode. and Emily are still here. <laughs> No, just kidding. We were here the whole time. I'm going to cross my leg in a Ooh. colloquial manner. Oh, okay. And uh, How colloquial. I like love a, you. I oh, have to think about that. That right was terrible. Night. Yeah. Hands exactly. folded across my lap. Okay, Ooh. so let's get down to serious business. Okay. okay. Brass tacks. Um, what, uh, what is it you would say was the first moment you can remember? Let's ask each of you. Let's do a little round table Ooh. panel. Oh, okay. What was the first moment you can remember having that, like, look at me disease that shows up in all of us, all of us that are involved in any kind of entertainment where it's like, hmm, that first time you got that first little strike of like, hey, I like this. I like the way this feels. I could do this. I like thinking like this. Why am I talking to myself like that? Mm. When, did, when did that happen? Was that last week? Was it? No. Was it? Uh, my background's actually musical theater. Okay, here we go. So I have a. I was been singing since I was a wee one. Okay. And for me, it was when I was uh, six years old, mm-hmm. and uh, they needed extra singers for the choir, and my teacher didn't know I could sing, so I just like walked in one day and started singing like at the top of my lungs. <laughs> And <laughs> like the same song or like just, just like totally, whatever just totally different and then she song. was like oh you you sing really loudly and I was like I know <laughs> not well they didn't say well just <laughs> loudly yeah. so like I'm just commenting on the volume you're like oh okay that's um, totally different and that was my moment but then uh, what, what one of my favorite anecdotes from my parents from when I was a kid was my dad used to say that um, if there was an Oscar that could go to um a toddler mm-hmm. uh, for best most dramatic performance in screaming <laughs> and having a tantrum, I would win it. And I agree with that. Like as an adult, I'm prepared to own that. I think that's uh, <laughs> that's a pretty powerful statement to make. Yeah. You know, in, your, in your adult life, I love that you own it. Yeah. I love that you're 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 a proud person. I can yeah. tell. That's a, that's, a, that's a good stance. Were you one of those kids that stopped to check and make sure people were looking as you were crying? Just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, so that's the very. Like, ah. Emily's laughing because she's like, because yeah. I'm like, yeah, this is true. This is this is Amanda. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I'm learning so much. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that's pretty. Mi- what was the first time for you, Greg? Uh, see, now consciously, I would have said wrestling because um, there was a, a very big because of your background really. in wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it was well the first time I went through the the curtain, like all the nerves just shut off, and and I really started enjoying it. But I was recently reminded at a family get together, my aunt and uncle had <laughs> uh, converted all of their old VHS tapes to DVD. Oh. And uh, a, I, I did have a habit of trying to direct my own films at about 10 years old Amazing. with my sister and my two cousins. Yes. Uh, and we got a, a 
big showing of that at uh, Easter dinner just recently. So wow, uh, I, what, uh, I, what was the uh, what was a the popular theme that you explored? Uh, aliens. There was a lot of aliens. <laughs> aliens yeah. um, Figured. figured. I, I, I did do a remake of. Uh, Michael Jackson's Captain EO. Shot for oh, shot. Okay. Pretty much shot for yeah. shot. Wow. Um, I totally knew all the lyrics off by heart. <laughs> oh. Did not did know. Not did know not them. know them. But <laughs> I tried. And getting getting my, you know, like six, you know, four to six year old sister and, and cousins to act as I wanted them was a difficult task. Yeah. Um, and you're like, <laughs> a lot of voices of me behind the camera like, no, you're doing it wrong. So, oh. <laughs> uh, okay. And so eventually I had to get in front of the camera. And... If I was to psychoanalyze this, I would say that hmm. suddenly we have Greg entering the host phase of his life. Right. <laughs> found himself being much more in control when he was in control. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel? feel. Mm-hmm. Greg says, fine. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Uh, em, what's I... up? When was the first time okay. you felt so... Like, oh my god, I love this. Yeah. I think it came in. I think it came <laughs> That's in. How she That's how you talk. It kind of is sometimes. Oh my god. Oh my god. So like the first time, and I like to think <laughs> that it's a joke, but it turns a little too real for me. I, I think oh. before before she dives in, <laughs> no. I we need to appreciate. Say. Beth does this amazing impression of Emily. She did at, oh. I think it was the last show that you were at, Jamie. Oh, I think so, actually. Uh, she yeah, jumped yeah. on stage and did Emily, and we were all like, that is Emily. Wow. Theo's done show. one as oh, well. Oh, yeah. I made them do it as an exercise for one of the rehearsals. And I a walked months away ago. from that exercise. I was like, why do people spend time with me? I was like, oh, God. <laughs> you are too bouncy. Like, like, plant your feet. Stop throwing your clothes around. I know. Yourself. Like, Anyways. I remember Theo even got her <laughs> scarf like, yeah. and used it like to get the physicality oh, of Oh, wow. Yeah. You're very kinetic. Apparently. You're trying to let you know. We, yeah. love, we love you. Emily. We love it's you so fine. much. <laughs> These are all the reasons know. that we love you. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so for me, it kind of, I think it came twice. I was... Oh. Uh, Phrasing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Let's go. <laughs> I liked it. That's okay. <laughs> That's what Don't go said. chasing Anyways. waterfalls. So like most kids, uh, I became... I was put into kinder dance when I was about three years old. Sorry, kinder dance. Yeah. It's what we called my ballet program. Sorry, it sounded like you said most kids. I've never... <laughs> like most kids. I feel like a lot of... Okay, most girls. Okay. Most young females are put into some form of dance. Okay. At yeah. least in the community that I was in. Okay. My grandpa actually in World War II worked in the... As a performer. So he performed for the troops. It's a really long story. But like what? Like a USO show? Yeah, like the USO show, but for the Canadian side of it. Dude, so, that's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Like he, so He's like Bob Hope. Yeah, yeah. That's badass. Yeah. All right. So All right. we, both me and my brother got put into dance. And when I was about five years old, they had a musical theater class. I was like, oh, I want to be in that. They're like, not till you're seven. I was like, but I want to do it. So every single time I walked into the studio, I said, may I take the class yet? And they said, no. I go, okay, come back in. May I take the class yet? No. Wow. So I finally bugged them enough. Like Fight Club. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and they finally let Except me. Except she's talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> they finally let me in the class and... We auditioned for back when the Chan Center was, I think, the Ford Center of Performing Arts. Mm. They had the national tour of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat oh, come into yeah. town. Oh, and they hired no. all of the children ensembles in whatever town or city they were in. And so my group got in, and I was just enamored by everything. I absolutely loved being on stage. I loved rehearsals. I loved the people. Those I loved performing. Colors, man. The colors, the music, the lights, the costumes. Like, every single thing was so beautiful. And when it ended, I was like, the first time I've ever like fallen in a heap on the ground crying at six years old. Um, Show <laughs> depression is so real. Yeah. yeah. So that was kind of the first time I was like, this is something I, I really want to do. And then when I was about 16, I said, I actually think this is what. Yeah. I want to do and then I got a little more serious and I was taking dance classes like crazy and singing classes performing around Vancouver and I just kind of went for it I actually moved down to LA and went to school down there and lived down there for about five years and worked as a performer and what yeah I just kind of got bitten at the age of six and here I am 20 years later still kind of doing it that is badass yeah excellent origin story Oh, thank you. That's very Marvel esque. Oh my gosh, thanks. Yeah, it's D- DC esque. <laughs> Is our origin story still cool at DC? Let's ask Greg. Oh. Sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just let him know. Hilarious. Uh, I think that's pretty amazing. How are we doing for Time Killer? Oh. We're on that range ratio. Okay, I don't know what that is. It's 15. 15. Oh, I think it's game time. Son. Oh boy. Are we ready? Oh boy. Are we ready, y'all? I hope so. Uh, I was hoping uh, uh, if, you, if you, like, you guys are cool. And I was just hoping maybe I could play with you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. 
wrestling yes. match. Like a, res- like a wrestling play. Okay, we get it. I am, <laughs> I am, like, we get it, okay? I wooed. I did all the wrong things. I said play. Like... I saw Rabbit as Randy play the other day. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> He's going to listen yeah. to this later and be like, yeah. why are you my friend? No, man? Rabbit as Randy but... played for the belt. Like, Before we move belt. on to the games, I feel like we did miss <laughs> mentioning some of our members. So we do also have Taizo. Yep. We mentioned Taizo. Did we? We, we, well, we quickly by name. Let's let's yeah. roll them all out. Taizo. We got a big, amazing, awesome group here. Radical. Abdullah, amazing. Beth, amazing. Theo, amazing. Amanda, <laughs> amazing. Top, top <laughs> tier, loving it. Greg, amazing. And Emily is pretty cool too. So that's all our members. Just want to get all their names. So. Six, six out of ten. <laughs> on Yelp? I said everybody, right? <laughs> on Yelp, yeah. That, that, yeah. That covered Yelp. We kind of covered some of the members, but not all of them. Everybody in the group is super awesome. Everyone great. Absolutely. It, and, is really amazing, and that's what I love about this. If we had the room, if we had a warehouse, <laughs> we could we could stack half of you in here. We could probably got like a standing room. Thing, you maybe, but, literally uh, would have gotten one question in, and it would have been like. <laughs> It was just See? like constant. Because we all right? have such a dynamic with each Bonus other. episode sometimes. That's yeah, right, yeah. yeah. I, will, I, I have to say, I do appreciate it, but I think what our fans and our listeners like mutually would love mm-hmm. if there was like just a bit of uh, a little show and prove here. Okay, okay. yeah, okay, cool. We had a little, little game. So, uh, love it. And, Greg, you're, and, you're, and you're wanting to take part. I would love to take yes. part. Yes! But disclaimer, zero improv training. Mm. And, uh, That's not true. <gasps> Oh, oh is it not? we're learning I things. I guarantee you it's not true. Seamart says, I, I, have I feel that there is an origin story. <gasps> oh. <laughs> well, I, you know, I have a music background. Exactly. And, uh, you know, I, I can rap. Do you mm-hmm. improvise on your instruments and improvise when you rap? Yes. Same thing. Okay. Same thing. All right. Just use your face. <laughs> right? <laughs> Halfway there. Right. The, the important thing is is uh, the the number one rule you learn, you know, improv 101 is yes and. Yes. And whenever and. somebody brings brings something to you, you say yes. Okay. And try to add to it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. So this is like a lot of people like to do this in the privacy of their own home for the first time, and you know, with a couple of people that they trust and love, <laughs> like a threesome or something like that. They really they really want to slide into it easily. But here I am, just gonna we're gonna go full on, you know, public. Gang bang. Let's try this out. <laughs> Love it. It's my first time. Yes! Way to make everybody yes! feel comfortable. All yes. right. All right. Greg, take uh, it away. So I got, so one thing we could do warming up wise, uh, we could do directed monologue. Yeah. Okay. So uh, whoever I'm pointing to okay. will be speaking. Uh, we'll be telling a monologue. So we'll, we'll pick, a, pick a character and a topic. <clears throat> and when I pass over to whomever, uh, you pick up right where the other person left off. Continue the story. Okay. Nice and continue the story. Okay. Continue the story. All right. You are all the same person. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's an important part. If they do part. a weird yes. voice, like whatever, you do the best you can to yeah. like right. mimic that. I'm about to jump on the ice with Gretzky. This is going to be like... <laughs> oh, wow. That is such <laughs> like, a nice compliment. They're like, like oh, you want to play hockey? I'm like, oh, I could kind of skate. Can't skate. Yeah. Can't you got this. this. Yeah. I believe in you. So. All right. I believe in you. Uh, Chris, what is a non-geographical location? There you go. Uh, clouds. 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 So this will be a <laughs> monologue inspired by clouds. Boop. Boop. <sighs> There's another fallen angel falling through the clouds again. It's not my fault, you know. I didn't ask her to dive through the swan clouds and then, like, fall in love with some stupid human. And, like... I'm just saying, we got it good up here in the clouds. Like, they're really fluffy and light and everything. And you're, like, just going to dive down for a human. Are you crazy, Rebecca? My God. And then, like, when they fell in love, like, some of the clouds went away. And I was like, where are the clouds? Like, that was my nap cloud. Like, have you ever thought about how that made me feel? As far as the Department of Clouds go, like straight up, I have been working so hard. And Rebecca's kind of a see you next Tuesday, if you know what I mean. And she did just decide to see us next Tuesday because she jumped (laughs) down. And like, okay, I get it. I guess he was kind of cute with his like dark hair and blue eyes and stuff. And I guess maybe he was like popular in some movie or something called like Baywatch. But there is really no reason at all for us to ever ever get off the fucking cloud the fucking cloud okay like the fucking cloud like i'm just so mad and i'm so tired i haven't 
I haven't slept because my nap cloud was taken. And I'm just saying that things are really, really hard up here. And I have been drinking since 9 a.m. with no food. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. That Thank voice, you. though. Well All done. Right. All right. <laughs> Add that to your repertoire. That's that. Uh, I got a new slash. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's step it up to game two. Oh, oh. All right. Uh, so we will play uh, something called Change. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Love this game. <laughs> what are the what is the nature of this game, Greg? Okay, so uh, you start this off with a, a essentially an open scene. Okay. Uh, but whenever the host uh, wants to hear something different, uh, feels that your uh, you know your answer to a question wasn't quite right, we'll say change, and you will have to uh, come up with a new okay. response to whatever you said. In last. a completely arbitrary manner. Exactly. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. All right. Uh, okay. So, Take for example, I'll, 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 just, to, just to clarify. So, uh, <laughs> if Emily came in and greeted you and she said... Hey! Change. Hi. Change. What up, doe? Okay. And then we continue. Okay. I was waiting for you to be like, sup, bitch. Oh! <laughs> how, how, sorry to add a question, but no, how, how, how will Emily know that you've accepted after maybe a couple I of I just won't take change again. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you can yep. continue. Let me continue okay. from okay. there. All right. All right. So, um... Amanda. Yeah. What would you say is a relationship that these two have? Oh, I'm going to say boss and employee. Boss mm. and employee. Okay. okay. All right. So uh, this is change. Yeah. Big round of applause. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Hey, Daryl, I'm going to need those reports done by 2 p.m. Uh, would 1.30 be okay? Change. I'm, I. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> How about uh, two thirty? Because I actually uh, change. How about two forty-five? Because I I'm kind of getting fed up around here. Whoa, Daryl, two forty-five. Okay, whoa, there's that was just very loaded. I apologize. I'm just processing for a minute here. Okay, I said two. You're giving me two forty-five. You're yeah. fed up. What's going on? What's going on? Change. Turn a minute two. <laughs> change. Oh my God, I'm so sorry that you're fed up. Oh, what? Hold on, okay. Can I get you an orange juice? Change. Uh. Here's an orange juice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Change. <laughs> Thank you. Change. Thank you. I have been waiting my whole life for an orange juice, and no one has ever respected me enough to give me one. And I am under the pressure of a lot of deadlines, okay? A lot of time limits, and some of them, some of them involve my own life. Change. Some of them involve my own life. Change what you said. <laughs> <laughs> some of them involve your life. Wow! Change. Hmm. Interesting. Change. My life? You think I don't got my life figured out? You're the one who's got deadlines for me? Well, no! <laughs> Try again, buddy! I'm your boss! I tried to butter you up with the orange juice, and now you're just still pushing back? This orange juice is really good. And Change. I, this orange juice is terrible, first of all. And I actually have really been not actually looking forward that much to talking to you today, because I needed to tell you something about that deadline about your life. First of all, I hand squeezed that orange juice, so I'm gonna take it back. Secondly, tell me about my life. Now I'm intrigued. <laughs> I think you would be surprised to know that I am actually your boss, secretly, all this time. Change. I have actually been working undercover for many federal government agencies. Change. I have been playing hockey when I've been telling you I have been going and working late at night. Change. I have been trying my best every day, and I think you don't appreciate it enough. You're right. I don't. I tried to create a peace offering, but you threw that back in my face. <laughs> so you know what? We're going to get this deadline in. You're going to get in it too. You know why? Why? Because I believe in you. Change. Because otherwise you're fired. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well done. That was well done. 
Uh, there's so many points I was gonna come and I was like, nope. <laughs> nope. It's weird. It's diff. To be honest, it's different when you're sitting than versus when you're standing. Oh, for sure. So yeah. Watching yeah. You guys. But great job. Uh, you did such a good job. That was, yeah. that was okay. I, you got it. Yeah. I, uh, I hope you're not too sore from carrying me through that. Oh God, no. <laughs> Change is a tricky one because. No. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no. Change is a tricky one because sometimes you're legitimately like. Yeah. Oh, Word, yeah, when you, but when I you said, said my uh, words. When you said change. You're like change, change what you say. I'm like, oh yeah, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah. hard. That was good. That was fun. Good. Yeah, that was, yes. fun. That was Wonderful. actually fun. I uh, maybe we'll have to have you on stage uh, one day. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Wow, gauntlet down. Ooh. Uh, I would I would firmly grasp that and accept it. I think I think that would be fun you to do one day. Yes. Yes. I, yes. And actually, exactly. Is when can he do we it? We have taught. <laughs> Let's determine that at a later date off camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's 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 super fun though. I love this. This is like, I'll tell you what. There's elements to um, what we're doing there that I relate to a lot. Like, um, in producing music, um, mm -hmm. you have to be able to coordinate a number of different elements all at once in mm -hmm. order to make this like something pretty rad, right? Oh, totally. But at the same time, pretty radical. Pretty radical. Oh. I like what you did there. Oh. I like it nice. But uh, the. You know, before I was producing all the time as an artist capacity, mm -hmm. a lot of the a lot of the ways you cut your teeth in the hippity hop world is through freestyle, and mm -hmm. freestyle is like this. It's very, um, it's an interesting cousin to what we were just doing mm -hmm. there because the idea that you are, um, I think even medically it's been determined. Not to hilarious people out there pointing to the people on the show, right? Oh. But, uh, <laughs> uh, sorry about that, but it's it's been proven that uh, like in neuroscience that when you're improv like uh, rhyming even, especially because like, you know, doing what we were just doing, but making a rhyme, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, a di like different difficulty, like what we just did was really hard. But like the idea that um, you're thinking of something that hasn't happened yet while thinking of the next thing that is about to happen while performing yeah. the first thing, mm -hmm. it's a very strange thing. Like, I don't know. Well, and, and musical improv is a pretty big thing. We actually, um, our last show had mm -hmm. uh, Jennifer Pilak out who, I, I dared to say it on stage last time, and I'll say it again now, is just the queen of musical improv in, oh, in Vancouver. Wow. She's amazing. And Peter Abando oh, uh, on so piano, good. who's, I mean, it's strictly almost a musical improviser. Really? Uh, just yeah. like with, with the keys. Oh, I'd love mm -hmm. to see um, that. And he is just amazing at just supporting you mm -hmm. and other. But uh, yeah, she teaches and um, performs musical improv. Mm -hmm. um, oh, wow. And so we had her and we did a bunch of song stuff. Um, I was some a total of, diva yeah. for the entire show. Usually <laughs> is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and and there um, there are a lot of games like that. There there is a, a freestyle rapping mm -hmm. game. That, oh wow! Okay. Uh, where yeah, when the the audience decides they want to hear a song, you either sing a song or you you freestyle. Mm -hmm. that's, okay, I think that's pretty fun. There, there's a lot of mm -hmm. components there that mm -hmm. are like, like moving pieces. Yeah. My, I think something else I haven't really got a grasp on because I've only done it like twice. Amazing. <laughs> is, is, Crushed uh, it though. Right. Yeah. But like I guess for for the three of you mm -hmm. and like and the other members of the radical, it must be interesting that you do something like this, but it's so organic in that you can literally have a different experience every time. And yeah. you change the players, you change the chemistry of the room. Mm -hmm. That must be really fascinating. Well, and, and that's that's exactly why we like having guests on stage with us uh, or, or sharing it later on, because it does change that up. Right, yeah. Uh, I think even with improv itself, because I can speak for Matt and I, where we've done things that have been heavily scripted, you're told, you move here mm -hmm. on yep. this line. Mm -hmm. And then you walk into something like improv. I remember my first improv show, like dry heaving backstage, being fine for every other performance I've had, but dry heaving backstage because I'm like, there's no blocking, there's no lines to yeah. fall back on. So it totally is a different, a different feeling. And your purse, like whatever's going on in your personal life, sometimes it can you can check that at the gate when you're walking and you're like, hey, I know this character who I am, I know the lines I'm saying. But in an improv world, you're like, okay, this really hard or amazing thing is going on. You got to come in and channel it yeah. into doing something off the top of your head, off the cuff, changing, and it does, like, and yeah, if Real stuff comes out. Oh, it oh, does. And like, the, like, depending on what your partners are, what they're going through, it, it is. It's such a uniquely different show every time you go. And I think that's why mm -hmm. a lot of improv companies, they don't do a lot of recordings of their performances because mm -hmm. once it's gone, it's kind of gone because they're one all so individual right, and so yeah. unique every time you go see a show. No matter how many times you see an improv show, you get like Costco as a as an ask for oh, all the time. Spatula. So many yeah. Costco scenes, but every time you go and see it, it's different, and mm -hmm. there's a different outcome, and there's different line set and different 
Like it's it's really it's and even so a different unique. audience will give yeah. you a different. Oh yeah, totally. Right? I can play the same game with the same people with the same suggestion. The audience will give you so much more just in the energy. So that there's all these got. variables yeah. all the time. So many variables. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. I like. I think that's really cool. Like the contrast in mu- music. You know, like like with the idea that. Um, People want to hear the hits, and they want to, you know, they want to hear you do this. Mm-hmm. Like if they like it, they want to hear you do mm-hmm. it again, and all this stuff. But this idea that there's this like fleeting moment in time that you can capture for like 90 minutes or mm-hmm. something like that, and that's, I think it's amazing. That's really cool. And I have like a actually like a newfound, even higher level of respect for what you guys just do because like what I just did. Uh, I think I blacked out most of it, but uh, <laughs> well, that happens too. It's on here. Yeah, it's recorded. Like, you have a recording for the rest of your life. story. It's, it's just the internet. So It'll true. Be there you come out of a show sometimes. You're like, what just happened? Mm-hmm. And you're like sweaty, and you're like, wow, I'm sore. Like, what did I do? You're like, yeah. oh, you did the splits for five minutes. You're like, <laughs> cool. Robin Williams did a really cool interview, uh, and, and he came out of there like because he wings it on stage mm-hmm. most of the time for his standup, um, and he came off, and, and people would be like, that was fantastic. He'd be like, great. What? What did I do? I, yeah. I yeah. just like shut my brain off and went. That's, That's amazing. True, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, he also used to just sign checks to uh, to uh, other comics. They, uh, other comics would just the story goes is because uh, uh, he he did a lot of cocaine. And so he would. Yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. He so he would um, oftentimes accidentally, maybe allegedly. on purpose, allegedly uh, steal other comics' jokes, like straight oh. up do their bits. But he was so successful with like Mork and Ork and all his films and mm-hmm. stuff that uh, another comic would come up and just be like, uh, like uh, Emily walks up and says. Uh, Hey, uh, Robin, I just wanted to, and he wouldn't even say anything. He would just immediately start writing a check yeah. and be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Like he just, he knew right away. He's like, oh, sorry. What did I do? What did I do? Yeah. Yours? Yeah. We're so rich. Yeah. We can do that too. Yeah. So, yeah. Making it Joking. rain in two knees. Yeah. That, that's an alleged story. Yeah. Let's go with the nice story. Let's go with the, <laughs> let's go with the, the, the nice one. But yeah. yeah, that is, that is what happens in improv sometimes or mm-hmm. comedy. You completely kind of, your brain, you're in, the zone, you're in a diff, right? you're in a different world for, mm-hmm. you forget who you You've given money to like it's a real problem <laughs> that I have. So yeah. Well, there's like, shows where you sign up for another five classes. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. No, there's shows where you walk away and like a big thing with improv I find is also you have to be comfortable with your players and mm-hmm. if you have an injury or something you kind of have to check in. And Amanda and I are friends, but there was a show where we touched each other so much that I got off stage. I was like, whoa. She's like, I'm so sorry. I, I was like, your that's face the most like we've touched times. each other. Yeah. Like, are we? Good? I told her who she was. Now. Yeah, I like almost hugged one Tyza one time. He's not a big hugger. I was like, yo, we good? And I like, always you, forget that you, Tyler there's things hugging. that you just yeah. like, and there's things that are so ingrained in you in person, and then you go on stage and you're like, yeah, <laughs> like that's the I, noise. I think, I think when you have so many personalities, mm-hmm. just get first of all in Vancouver, just getting seven <laughs> people to do anything. Uh, oh yeah, my gosh, when like, I moved here, I was like, what have I moved into? Exactly. What is this? <laughs> like, yeah. So this is just a feat in itself <laughs> yeah. that the, the the group exists and all mm-hmm. that. It's pretty awesome. But I think you guys are amazing. And uh, mm-hmm. if people are listening home, if you want to check it out, you got to check out the Radical. They're based in Vancouver, British Columbia. If you guys are listening to this outside of Canada, it's Canada, folks. The <laughs> Vancouver. Don't go to you know Washington State or something. <laughs> thinking, I mean, find local improv in your area. Yeah, it's, it's gonna yeah. be. But yeah, just a question. general improv ad. But yeah. at the same time, if you do want to check out the Radical, I think it's a, it's very important that you go to their monthly showcases. They do they do one at the Seven Dining Lounge in downtown Vancouver, and they do one in New Westminster whoop, whoop. at the Heritage Grill, which is fantastic. Yeah. I love yeah. both yeah, those. The, the Heritage Grill. That's it's the first Friday of every month mm-hmm. uh, with minor adjustments for long weekends. Mm-hmm. Uh, first Friday of every month, uh, and that's our Improv Voltron show. So that's uh, two groups, and we each do a set, and then we come together at the end. Uh, and then the mid month, uh, it's the third Thursday again, adjusting for long weekends. <laughs> uh, third Thursday of every month, uh, Seven Dining Lounge is the Seven at Seven uh, Improv Comedy Showcase. Excellent. Uh, and that's a, a double bill. So we, we have our hour and a half sort of headline show. And then uh, we have another group that comes in from nine to 10 to do the late night laughs. Mm-hmm. Do you have this, uh, this next, set, next set of bookings on your mind? Can we, can we plug this right now? We've, we've got. Everything booked till the end of the year. So. These are the right two people to have here for okay. that. Okay. <laughs> Which, by the way, I have to give extra shout out to Amanda for actually being the only one out of all of us who knew the actual date, including me, which you think I would know, but I was wrong. It's I, part I, of my actual job to organize people's lives, so I do have a I habit really of being impressed. a bit yeah. of a nag about it. Yeah. I was... Emily I was, knows. Like, <laughs> no, yeah. she, she gives us like our, our Google Doc emails and stuff, <laughs> and so we know. And yet, three of us, without fail... 
myself, Abdullah, and at least one other person is like, when's our next rehearsal? And I'm like, when check have a the show? calendar. Yeah. I sent you the invite. <laughs> so like, yes, mad props. That's absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> the the next two shows, though. Yes. Uh, well, when 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 is the show? This will come out on Friday, Friday. so the twenty okay. sixth. So perfect. Uh, so June second, uh, we're at Heritage Grill for Improv Voltron, and Excellent. we're being joined by uh, a really awesome group. I'm super excited. <gasps> yes. uh, that we've got them to come out. It, they're called the Outer Middle Zone, and they're out of Instant Theater, and they do improvised uh, Twilight Zone episode, like uh, Outer things. Limits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it's super amazing cast. Your last guest group, uh, Dosh and Dat. Mm-hmm. Da- don't Dat and Dot. What I say? <laughs> Dad. Oh my gosh, I want them to listen to How this just cute. Cute. That was so great that I was like, oh yeah, yes, cute. those guys yeah. are. They're like, <laughs> equally good name. By the way, in Carta research, just kick it in <laughs> big time. Encyclopedia it. Britannica. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm it's gonna okay. say it again. Da- dash, dash and, and dot. dot. Dash what did I say? Dot and Use dash. Your words. Morse code. Yeah. 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 I uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, no, but they're, they're fantastic. It. So mm-hmm. I, I can I can give you personal uh, testimony that uh, these curated groups that are pulled in uh, are fantastic, mm-hmm. as well as the radicals. So Thank everyone you. should go check that out. And then uh, June the fifteenth uh, is the next Seven at Seven show, uh, and that one we're being joined by the Wedding Party. Ooh. Uh, okay. Who I, I these names are the best names. <laughs> Seymour and I are going to probably talk about this for the next few weeks. And improv they're, they're, group names. They're going to be at another uh, Improv Voltron show, I think, in July. Um, and they're going to be doing an improvised romantic comedy uh, for Ooh. that show. For this one, I know they're trying something different. Okay. Uh, but I don't have anything official that I can plug. But from what whisperings I've heard, it's going to be really good. Okay. That's so awesome. I don't, want to, I don't want to blow any surprises now, for them Greg, or anything like that. Didn't so. we do something really cool and new interesting lately, like where you can pre-book your tickets online? Oh. Why, what a fantastic oh. segue. What? Excellent. Yeah, I think uh, you used to work in radio. What are we talking about? Oh, my goodness. Uh, Excellent setup. Yeah. Uh, all of our, uh, well, social media, of course, at The Radical Van, yes. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But uh, you can also go to the radicalvan.eventbrite.com and we that's got an all of our tickets for the entire year and are already live. I understand that there are absolutely no uh, booking fees. Is that uh, ticket fees? We, we, we have, have uh, waived fees Ooh. for any of those. Because I know it's it's it, I hate it when it's like all right I'm gonna save two dollars and then a dollar thirty two of that are fees and it's like well yeah great. yeah like, no I but uh, no uh, they're two dollars cheaper to buy online mm-hmm. and in fact every show has a, a limited number of early bird tickets so if you get Ooh. them more than a week in advance uh, you get six dollars for either show I like that yeah so saving, saving, savings. make your plans early and stick to them because <laughs> we are I mean, all just, so good at that let's I do mean, you it you can just send us your money and not show yeah. up but we would prefer <laughs> actually bodies there uh, it's we like, like the actual lofts yeah. like we no cans loft up. it's 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 true just though us. It, uh, having people in the audience uh, you know uh, paid or not that's the the best thing yeah. body energy there 100 yeah. you guys are always packing them out i think you guys are doing really well draw wise so people that need to get uh, a proactive attitude when they're going to be buying tickets for the show, and they definitely will be checking this out because I think this is amazing. This is my well, personal and, and recommendation. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's give away some tickets. I think we should what? give away some tickets. We're going to give away some tickets. Love I think it. we should give away some tickets if you guys are listening to this right now uh, and it's still within the range of this. Maybe it's the future. Maybe Trump has nuked the world and oh. you have the only electricity in the world. That's and, a very real possibility. Yeah, and you guys are guys, actually, you hurts. guys are only. Uh, you're using the last year electricity for some stupid, foolish reason to listen to this podcast. Well, we're so appreciative. We're Good very job, guys. appreciative yeah. of that. That's very nice of you to, you know, think of us like that. I know. But uh, you know, take a second from your dark existence and just know <laughs> that uh, if you share this on Facebook or any kind of social media, uh, and I see it, I will make a large list and then I will draw it from a draw app, which I don't you even know so if exists. Fancy. I'm sure it, it, I'm sure it exists. And uh, do we get a shot of the ticket here, bro? Yeah. You do we get a shot of the ticket? Come to the radical show. <laughs> you guys can check out radical. Dun, dun. Nice. I feel like that was like a Mentos freshener kind yes. of smooth. Like, yes. Yeah. I like I like how you went back to the tonic. <sighs> Excellent. <laughs> Me. I'll go. My there. I, I, I will give away. <laughs> Five double passes. Ooh, Five double. Oh my that's god! Ten. That's ten. That's people. ten people to come see the show all together. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, so. if you don't win, 
check your pulse at this point, then you can get early bird That's tickets right. on the <laughs> right. Five, five listeners. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, for the four of you out there, we. Yeah. No. Now, uh, all, all jokes aside, the, uh, these guys are amazing. You should check them out. Um, this is only a small sampling of a larger uh, organism. And ensemble. I, ensemble. Ooh. Excellent oh. use of that word. Chris Martin, ensemble. Uh, but we, yeah, we, we think you should check it out. It's pretty awesome. And uh, if people were so inclined to follow you, Chris Martin, how could they do so? You're not a mic, so not just. A thing. It's not huh? a thing, he says. That's like, no, and the gag continues. It's fine. Cool. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're so thankful that you guys tune in each week and will watch our show. Mm -hmm. If you'd be so inclined, we'd be very grateful if you would leave us a podcast review on uh, iTunes, because that's, cool. uh, that's how we uh, move ahead, folks. Make the big bucks. <laughs> that's how we make the big bucks. Uh, that's how dollars we. Uh, and cents, dollars and cents. Yeah. That's how we con people into giving us stuff for free. God damn it! No, the, Where's uh, my wine? Where's my what? wine? Yeah, exactly. See, we had a we had a we had a sponsorship yeah, we're swag. Doing good. That's yeah, we're all. doing good. I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into it. No, we're, we're doing good. fine. Everything but, uh, so good. Everything's good. If so you're so inclined, good. we're available on uh, iTunes and Stitcher and YouTube and like 60 other illegal Russian <laughs> podcast apps. Yes. For some reason. That's actually where I listen to it. Yeah, probably. An illegal yeah. Russian podcast app. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Whoa. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if you guys check it out, we love it. And uh, we love you guys. And thank you very much for listening each and every week. And uh, thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you for having so us. So much for having yes. us. You, y'all are welcome. Any you killed it. Time. You killed it. Uh, you broke your improv cherry. I did? Yeah. yeah I like said, next steps on stage. Felt That's good. Good. Felt good. I'm so happy to be there for it. Uh, yeah. You were <laughs> intimately involved, both of you. I, uh, Actually, all of you. I, everyone was. You always making it creepy. Always yeah. making it creepy. Yeah. Well, I was just excited. So. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a heel at heart, but I, I'm a, <laughs> you know, I'm a, I'm a kind guy. What can I say? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we love you very much. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I won't announce next week's guest because I. They wanted to follow the radical. We already uh, went through yep. that. But just in case, just at in the case. Radical Van. That's right. T H E R A D I C A L V A N. I want the camera Radical on me Van. for a second. Oh. Let the record show. Chris Martin continuously <laughs> drives the car from behind <laughs> in the back seat all the time. And I would never have ever ended the show without knowing that I did my best to promote the Radical. So how fucking <laughs> dare you, Chris Martin? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, fuck Steve McGowan. Hey, fuck Steve McGowan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we love you oh, so wow. much. We'll see you all next week. Goodbye. Mwah. Mwah. Hooray. Woo. Awesome.